Hey guys, what's up? So we're back with another episode of Stargirl. I believe we are on, let me check here, episode 6, The Betrayal. Uh, um, yeah, so last time we left off, um, Courtney is kind of like, I kind of get it because, you know, she's a teenager, but she's like pushing away the the JSA, you know, her team for this boy, uh, Cameron, and I do feel bad for Cameron, he's a good guy, but, you know, with him and his powers, like, okay, like, she can help him, like, sure, but she shouldn't, like, you know, completely abandon, like, her, you know, the people that actually need her to, like, she's already on a team, and not only that, but she's also supposed to be the leader of that team, and you know she's not doing her job so like I said I get it she's a teenager she can help Cameron and you know she likes him but yeah that's that's not right um so I know it's it, that situation's gonna get worse um and then we have Sydney um I I truly believe Sid. I don't think Sydney's like a bad person um but because we do see good elements, um, you know, in her and what she does, like how she protected Mike and um, I forget his name, but Yakim or something like that. Jakim? I don't know. I'll, <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up, but I'll find out. Um, but yeah, how she protected them from the bullies and, you know, so that's like one of the, there's like definitely plenty more and she's like a good friend to Courtney although you know her lying to Courtney is not so great um so even though she's like a good person um what she's doing behind everyone's back like I don't know what her plan is um and we don't know if she also is the one that attacked Starman too um, it's kind of, like, leading in that direction, but we don't know for sure. You know, for all we know, it could have been Mr. Funny Bones who attacked, you know, Starman, and Courtney just attacked, uh, you know, just killed the gambler, and that was it. We don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly do, it's, this episode is called The Betrayal, so I'm, I'm assuming that this episode is about, you know, since Yolanda found Sydney's, found the computer in Sydney's room, um, so obviously she's gonna go tell the GSA, um, so I'm assuming this episode is mainly gonna focus on Sydney in that situation, and probably the whole situation with, uh, Courtney and Cameron, that's probably gonna blow up, uh, in this episode, too. I feel like this episode's gonna be a mess, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling, and, um, yeah, let's just get right into the episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Ready for the feature film. Yeah, Sydney, how do we feel about that? Oh. Oh, yeah. So what is her plan here? What's her end game? Chapter 6. The betrayal. Is that... You can't pronounce. I don't think you can handle this. Oh. Rick. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, he's testing out his powers now. I forgot he fixed the, uh, the hourglass. Or maybe. We're about to see. Can you do it with one arm? That'd be dope. Okay. Alright, it's been an hour. Oh. That bar is gonna break. <laughs> okay, be careful though. Just in case. Oh, shit. Okay, I see what they're doing there. Putting pieces together. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's not that clever. <laughs> I broke 
broke into someone's house last night. I had to expose a liar. Right, I'm going to turn this up a bit. She's manipulating my best friend. Someday, when it's safe, Father, I will tell you everything about Blue Valley. Don't learn the wrong lessons about judgment from your own family. Yeah. No, I don't think you understand. I'm not asking forgiveness for what I've done. Permission? I'm asking forgiveness for what I'm about to do. Hmm. Yeah, she did say, I'm gonna beat her ass. <laughs> Look at you, Juicy. You're making a mess. It looks like a farmer's market. <laughs> Where did all this come from? The Crocs. They were in the kitchen messing around. You kidding? And of course they were. No, he is not. They took away all the cereal. They took away the donuts. Yeah, he's in here yesterday. He throws away my beer. His light beer. Yeah, it's your house, Pat. Stand up for it. Exactly. Where's Courtney? I should update her. She already left. This early? Any idea where? From what Our Yolanda boyfriend? said last night, she was meeting with Icicle's kid. Yeah. John McKent. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm um, snacking on some Teddy Grahams here. If you're scared or angry, the ice will be too. Bees in. I did it. <laughs> it's my dad. How do we feel, Corny? <laughs> How do we feel about that? Hmm. Looks questionable. <laughs> it looks very small. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful is not the word that I would use, but... Cindy Berman might be guilty of a lot of things, but killing the gambler, please, that is like beneath her or something. Mm, yeah. She's got class. And information. Yeah, she's got, she's got class. All of the files on the ISA. Stuff the others don't even know about. Ah, oh, my good lady. The young all-stars bring you offerings. No. <laughs> what did they expect? Like, really? I followed your advice, Sylvester. About Cindy. And it paid off. I found it hidden in her room. So she did it. But why? Beth, we need what's on this laptop right now. There are probably the usual encryptions and firewalls, but I should be able to get through them with an assist from the goggles. I want you to put the laptop back where you found it. Why would we do that? Because if Cindy knows the computer's gone, yeah. she'll know she's busted. She might run. But it's Cameron McKent. I mean, it's the grandparents I'm concerned about. They definitely oh, yeah. knew something about the mine machine that Jordan was building. Yeah. Well, what if they, they know, know a lot Courtney of things. And Mike. You and all of us. I still think the grandparents are working with Mr. Funny Bones. We'd like to offer you a Norwegian oh. specialty. Do not eat that. Delicious. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Dexter exactly. Sent for the That's so bad for us about a den. Exactly. That's surprising. I'm assuming you have concerns. Yeah, a little bit. Such a nice young man. He sure is. Good kid. Well, your daughter I is... I think she's very special, too. <laughs> your daughter, on the other hand. Mom? Pat? What are you doing here? Hey. <laughs> Hi. Well, we got a little bit of a problem. Is that right? A girl problem. <laughs> Uh, see, there's this girl that we both we both mm -hmm. like, but she won't even pay attention to us. Mm. Competing for a lover's heart, huh? Oh, no, 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 that's not. Is he not? Is he like not even a little bit concerned that there's two guys going for her? <laughs> I found there are two universal truths in life: one, you can't unstrip a screw, and two, you can't give up on love. So you're you're not gonna question that there's two boys asking about the same girl. Why didn't you call me? You were ignoring everyone. Yeah. There was really no reason for you to come all the way out here. Yeah, there kinda is. There are your parents. 
As long as our children are both happy, that's all that matters. Isn't that right, dear? Isn't that right? Of course. <laughs> I like the death stare. That's wonderful. If they wanted to hurt us, wouldn't they have done it already? Why wait? We They're know. smart. They're uh, making a plan. They scare the hell out of me. Yeah. Especially the grandma. Yeah, there she is. Creeping. Did you really block us? <laughs> well, I mean, she already kind of told you guys. I told you. Yeah. It's too dangerous for you to be this involved. If you're doing this to protect us, who's going to be protecting you? Wait, I thought they said they understood. They already said they understood. Just leave it alone. Everything's downloaded. It's going to take a while for me to decrypt it. Am I screwing this up? Would you let your parents in this side of your life? Hell no. <laughs> but my parents suck. Yeah. Oh no. That's never a good sign. Hey there, kitty cat. I swear to God, Sydney. Just leave her alone. You had the gambler's laptop, and you didn't tell us. I have my reasons. I would have explained, and I still can. Too late. Oh. Yes, action. That was smooth. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, that's what that was. <laughs> What was that, uh, Rick? Oh, fuck yeah. I knew it. What the hell? Yeah. I knew they were gonna see that. You're just like your dad. Okay, that's a drop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I think you gotta go there. <laughs> Starman. Oh. I thought that was Sylvester. See, Courtney? This is why you need to be around. <laughs> she stole the gambler's laptop, Court. I didn't kill him. I guess I almost missed it. It wasn't Dragon King's DNA. It started changing when we got back from the Shadowlands. I don't know if it triggered this or if it was always going to happen. I don't know what my dad did to me. I stole the gambler's laptop so I could go through his files, locate labs, find a cure, but I did not kill anyone. So we didn't see her actually like kill him, but she had her she had her sh shiv out. Let us help you. Help me? I am so tired of all of this. If you were just honest with us in the first place, like I asked you to be honest. Okay, Sydney. Courtney is being really nice right now. About Cameron. Okay. You already yeah. know she's dating Cameron. No, about his powers. She's teaching that little psycho how to conjure up icicles. Just like Daddy. He'll come for you. And I hope that he wins. <laughs> not training anyone. She is teaching him how to him. Just like use his powers. Just like we should be trying to help Cindy. This isn't about Cindy anymore. Okay? You lied to us. I didn't mean to. She did. He is a threat. No, he's not. Yes, he is. And you made that decision by yourself. When all of us who are a team are at risk. I've been on your side this whole time, trusting everyone, because you think we should. Yeah, she should have told them what was going on. Like, I really do think uh, Courtney 
trying to help Cameron and um, Sydney was like the right call. But the second that she started, you know, keeping stuff from the team, even if it's for, you know, that teenage romance or whatever they got going on. I don't feel like talking, Pat. It's Sylvester, I think. I think I kicked myself off the team. You're not kicked off anything. We're a lot alike, huh? Oh, Except yeah. with all the anger issues. <laughs> Mom and Pat keep telling you to find balance, but it's not so easy for people like you and me. It's because we love it too much. We live for it. My sister Mary, like you, she always saw the good in people. She thought, given a chance, bad people could change. I don't know Cameron McKent. But I know he's you. Have, he's have to and be I careful. trust your gut more than anything. If you say he's a good kid who just needs some guidance, I'm on board. But Sydney is right about when Cameron finds out. A wise out, man named Stripes he once said. <laughs> oh don't try to do everything yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And don't worry about the others. They'll come around. But Sydney was right about when Cameron finds out about what really happened. That's not gonna be good. Hey! Beth! Beth! You look worried. Worried? Me? Beth is really uh, there? I thought she worried. was mad at Courtney. What do you think I'm worried? Beth, what stop. Is Just. I <laughs> when I hacked into the campers' files, I found something I think he found. Yeah. Guys, don't, don't. <laughs> Why are we all looking? <laughs> what do we do now? Nothing. Don't do anything. Well. Now he knows that they know now. Alright guys, that was the episode. Um... Yeah, I, like I said, I don't know what that puzzle was supposed to be. That was, I, I didn't see any of that. If you guys kind of saw something, let me know in the comments below because I didn't see shit. Um, but um, I'm glad Beth is not completely, you know, off board of uh, Courtney not being on the team anymore because, like, she could have took that to anyone. She could have took that to... Yolanda, you know, and showed her first, but she chose to show Courtney and um, Pat first. So that's good that Beth still like trusts Courtney in, you know, in some ways. I'm pretty sure everyone is like convinced that she killed the gambler because we saw her, you know, over his body with her knife out, with her shiv out. And so, and they said that he did have a stab wound. Um, but Sydney, I don't know what's up her ass. Like, I mean, I know um, Yolanda, like, went after her. But, I mean, what do you expect? What do you expect? Like, you, are, she already knew that Yolanda didn't trust her to begin with. Like, I don't know what she expected. And when she was saying, like, oh, like, I'm so sick of all this. You're sick of what? You're, what are you sick of? Courtney trying to help you and defending you? Like, come on. I don't know what's what's gonna happen for the future. Um, Sylvester is growing on me. I mean, he still has his anger issues, clearly, but he's definitely growing on me. Um, and I'm glad Rick got the um, hourglass fixed. Um, so I'm assuming it is permanent as long as he has the hourglass on his powers are always there completely um that's you know that's what he was saying he was gonna do and he did it um so good on him uh so yeah um that's about it for this episode guys um i'll have the next one i'll record that one you know right when it comes out i'll slack in for a bit um but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you have anything to tell me or anything to share, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll do my best to respond. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for letting...
Uh, thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time.